Receiving high quality care is one of the most important factors to ensure positive health outcomes and higher quality of life for individuals living with sickle cell disease. But many of these individuals often face significant barriers to receiving quality, comprehensive care due to factors outside of their control. These include a lack of access to qualified health care providers, health insurance, or consistent coverage, as well as discrimination based on race, ethnicity, and other traits, which create preventable health care disparities and inequity in treatment. Despite sickle cell disease being identified as a genetic disease well over 100 years ago, the uh, progress in this disease has trailed behind every other genetic disease. The reasons are complex. Uh, the individuals who are predominantly affected by the disease in the United States are African Americans. Sickle cell disease is the world's most common genetic disease, impacting one out of every 365 black or African American births and one out of every 16,300 Hispanic American births. A history of discrimination and mistreatment within the healthcare system has discouraged people living with sickle cell disease from seeking care. Since sickle cell disease is significantly more common in people of color, equalizing access to care and treatment of people living with the disease is crucial to improve healthcare outcomes and advance scientific discovery in this field. Today, healthcare professionals are working to rebuild trust and help people of all ethnic and racial backgrounds. ASH is committed to combating inequities and advancing patient-centered comprehensive care through a multifaceted sickle cell disease initiative. Through this initiative, the Society advocates for policies and supports programs that aim to eliminate health disparities. The community's voice is foundational to these efforts, and ASH works to include community perspectives in all activities under the initiative. Given the stigma associated with sickle cell disease, the health disparities that we see in the sickle cell community, it's very important that we have patient and patient advocates involved in everything we do. The voice of the patients and their caregivers need to be the loudest and the most attended to in the room. One of the major things that I would like to see physicians to understand and is the, the, the daily life of living with sickle cell disease is that I still have to move forward. So when I say that my pain is an 8, it really is at my 8. Now when I say it is a 10, it truly is at a 10. And I'd like physicians to understand that we are so much more than who you might see in the emergency department when I am in intense, excruciating pain. That is the tiny percentage of who I truly am the rest of the time. And I think that with all the layers of sickle cell, pain, we learn how to be in pain, and we learn it very young. You can learn how to be in pain. I think it's important for us to recognize that sickle cell disease is a lifelong disease that really has tremendous impact where we need to be able to support them from the standpoint of community. How do we effectively deliver care to people that don't have the same financial resources and have a number of other things that can make it more challenging for them to get adequate care? You can help us move toward a more equitable healthcare system. Listen to your patients. Advocate for those who cannot do so on their own and demonstrate empathy to a population who has been historically underserved and mistreated by the medical community. Through these steps, we can improve outcomes and the quality of life for people living with sickle cell disease. Learn more. Visit hematology.org scd to learn about the ASH Sickle Cell Disease Initiative and access ASH's SCD resources for clinicians. Visit hematology.org dei to learn more about ASH's diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives.